Well, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't think I would be alive to see a plot twist this big, man. What the bumblecloud is going on in the community? Why y'all suckers cannot just make YouTube videos? Just make YouTube videos, man. Because recently, Moist Critical said that it's perfectly fine for kids to cut their PP and transition and change their gender, switch size like they were in Call of Duty. Like the video if you think it's not okay to do it. Dislike the video if you think it's perfectly fine for kids to cut their PP, right? So he said that Dr. Disrespect was in a another kind of situation where he uh, messaged a minor inappropriately later on he got banned by twitch dr disrespect posted this and he's like playing chess while you're playing checkers right the responses are absolutely hilarious so wash your crack says that is this you playing with a minor and dr disrespect responded by saying good one she heard the internet will never fix your real threat depression the quartering responded the act man went crazy mighty keep so everybody's going crazy this is by far the most insane picture because even drake is uh, accused of that uh, the PD stuff, right? So, same energy man said that. Uh, yeah, Sick is be doing this to the Champions Club right now. Sick is going crazy. And Jamari, of course, Captain Jamari was there. Superman was out here and he made a video roll up. So, last year we had some major drama between Moist Critical, aka Charlie, and Streamer Sneeko. As Sneeko was in his Red Pill era and posting relentlessly about Charlie, as well as a couple of other YouTubers and streamers he had made this infamous collage of. Best commentary award is a dude who doesn't believe in anything who games for 13 hours straight and do so, guys. Um, I farted in a diarrhea and this happened. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna say names. Someone texted me. He's in a monogamous relationship. This is his girl. He posted about Charlie to the point where he eventually had to reply with this tweet. You pathetic, sensitive, soy little worm. I made fun of you for watching your girlfriend get f***ed by numerous other men and yeah. also insulted you for defending That's not cancellation. That's just spitting on you for being- Yo, you- a year ago, Charlie had him though. Charlie did- did have him. It's crazy because, bro, I don't get it. How Charlie can F up this bad? The pitiful sad. Out of this, we would then get the clip of Sneaky yeah. dancing around, brandishing a <laughs> pistol in his hands, threatening Charlie, saying that he could get these oh clips. My God. Bro, watch my clips! Watch my clips! Watch my clips! This, of course, would give us the most glorious moment in the beef, the Mags comment. Yeah. But he's a f***ing imbecile, you absolute buffoon. What you have mm. there is not clips. Yeah, th this was hard though. This was absolutely hard. I remember like everybody was making videos and this was just a massive comeback by Charlie. Even though it's like so like, y you know what I mean? So petty, but it was actually good. It was really, really good. And he won the battle, but apparently not the war by the look of it. These are mags. They're mags, not clips. The same way that this is also a mag. And then we would later get this debate, overall in the eyes of most, Charlie would decimate Sneeko here and make him look very immature. And I would say the majority of viewers thought at this point that he had won the war. Well, Sneeko yeah. has again been trashing <laughs> Charlie like no other, especially over the recent situation with Mr. Oh, Beast and his yeah. creeper Chris. Sneeko stands yeah, with- Yeah, creepy Chris, even Chris Tyson got caught, right? Now accusations are running wild, running rampant towards Mr. Beast as well. And we're probably gonna have a video on it, but, uh, uh, but, but here's the thing though. Former Mr. Beast employee who tried to expose Mr. Beast got hit with a cease and desist. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit. Just days, uh, allegedly, just days after another employee debunked him. Do you think they're gonna go to court? Is what <laughs> the Keemstar lasts. Get right into the news. Company drama alert is saying apparently ex Mr. Beast employee hit with a cease and desist. So, the, and this guy made like very very solid points. We saw the video as well, right? He exposed Mr. Beast and. Right now, everybody's going crazy at that situation too, but he ended up getting hit with a cease and desist, so now a lot of people are believing what if, you, you know, like, he's trying to silence him, like, uh, Mr. Beast is trying to silence him, so... Yeah, well, we're gonna cover that soon as well. That Charlie is a coward for not immediately speaking up about this situation, saying that he is a hypocrite for talking about Dr. Disrespect, but not discussing Chris. Yo, look out, Moist Critical is not gonna go talk about the Chris situation because he wants to have the Mr. Beast collab. Well, Charlie would respond to this on Twitter and even spend several minutes in his video about the Chris situation, addressing Sneeko's claim that he was ducking this topic. I was always going to make a full breakdown of this because it's bad. It's a horrible situation. So yes, you're right. I do talk about like big trending bad shit like Dr. Disrespect or like Cody Ko most recently. I don't know why people thought I wouldn't talk about this. So I've never been someone to f and shy away from a bad situation like this just because I know or am familiar with the person that it's about. He has no problem abandoning his morals and defending blatant and brushing it under the rug as long as it means it keeps the Mr. Beast collab alive. For you to make insinuations like that and even claims like that is yeah. unhinged considering yeah, you yeah. make actual 
defense arguments constantly. Well, once again, after this back and forth, the two would have another debate, and this time people were a lot more conflicted about who actually won, as both of them made some very strange comments throughout this conversation. Now, just to be completely transparent with you guys, the full debate here was around 90 minutes long, and no, I did not watch the entire thing. Yeah, I just yeah, feel yeah. like at this point, my brain is already rotted enough, and I didn't want to put it through that type of stress. But if these two comments that these guys made are any indication of how this debate went overall, yeah, I just don't think my brain could have taken it. Yeah. So first, let's talk about what Sneeko had to say. As you guys know, he's been riding the uh -oh. anti-age of consent wave for quite some time now. Yeah. yeah, it's just because we have a different idea of what it means to be a child, which can be tracked historically. The general principle in Islam is, you know, you can do what you kind of want, so long as, I'm not going to say you can do what you want so long as you harm. You can do, you can marry whomever you want to marry, so long as it doesn't cause them harm, physical and psychological. And once again, yeah, it's very relative. And so Charlie kind of questioned him about his beliefs here, asking him if a 21-year-old should be able to marry a 15-year-old. And you'll never believe what he has to say. I'm talking about your personal beliefs. Do you think, you, do you think someone in their 20s should be able to marry a 15 or 16 year old so should someone who's about to graduate college be able to marry someone who's just entering high school like last year they were running around on that middle school playground i personally wouldn't do it i, I don't okay. know many people who would do it the maturity for people and the teenagers in, in the west is, is getting much worse but they're yeah, all American. talking globally let's just talk globally mm. like do you think it is okay for i'm not talking about just you specifically anymore anyone do you think it's okay for anyone in their 20s an adult to marry a 15 or 16 year old a 21 year old if, if there was a, a marriage where the father consented and the daughter consented and it was both good on both families and they wanted to do it why am i going to get involved why should we get the government involved well at that point that's almost like arguing well why should we have any laws at all i yeah. mean don't get me yeah yeah, and, uh, yeah absolutely we need the law there we need a number there i get like sneaker's point i'm not defending him like it's uh, both of these points are equally bad of course the the most critical point insanely bad you cannot defend him right but i feel like that sneako could have had a bigger w like sneako won the fight won the war right but he could have won by 10 extra miles had it been he said that you gotta follow the law of the land because in islam it, it is true islam does not give the number for marriage it says that you need to be physically and mentally mature and if you can take care of your spouse okay and with their needs and all that right and also it says that you need to follow the law of the land it is true that back in the days like hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago globally it doesn't apply to islam it applies to everything right like basically all of us right uh, back in the days i mean not you and me but people that were alive thousands of years ago hundreds of years ago some uh, i mean i should say a lot of people did marry young i mean it'd be like that it'd be like that <laughs> okay people were marrying young but you see those rules does not apply to today you know 16 year old then was a lot more mature versus today it, a, a person can be even 24 years old today and he would be dumb though you, you feel what I'm saying? So, you know, you need to follow the law of the land. What's insane to me that I, I've done a little bit of research after this one. Japan l consenting age was 14 years old till 2015. Oh, shit. Oh, and shit. they had to bump it up as well because they realized we're getting dumber and dumber. We're getting dumber and dumber. So we need to up the age. So, for example, if hundreds of years from now, I, I wouldn't be shocked if the, the new consenting age or marriages age is like what uh 20 years old and if that's the case islamically you gotta follow that too you, things got so out of hands apparently uh, uh what i mean to say here is that things got so out of hands uh, because we're getting dumber and dumber right we're getting dumber and dumber uh okay so can you guys see that even the sharia law they are also saying that you know m muslims are required by sharia to wait until they reach 18 years old before they marry it, i believe it was not like this because back in the days it was different right but now <laughs> everybody realizing bro like <laughs> the age like yes back in the days you would get mature faster but today it's not the same thing like hundreds of years from now bro you never know man most people might hit like their puberty or get mature by like 20 or something like that maybe today's 18 is 20 in the year 2100 if that makes sense right so if only sneeko said that uh you gotta follow the law of the land i think he would have beat most critical way more harder than he currently did in a way and you guys gotta understand that it's coming from sneeko sneeko also defended cuties uh, back in the days, right? It, it's just crazy, bro. How do you lose against Sneeko, man? How do you lose against Sneeko? Sneeko has, I mean, listen, man, objectively speaking, Sneeko has some good points. He has some bad points as well. He takes W's, he takes L's, just like 
how all we uh, just like all of us right sometimes you take l's sometimes you take w's right i mean it'd be it'd be it'd be what it'd be man welcome to planet earth welcome to clown world man it's uh, it'd be like that where nobody agrees with uh, nobody essentially or you don't agree with everything what another person gotta say perfectly fine uh, it's a perfectly fine situation but then this happens roll it get the government involved Would well, at that point, that's almost like arguing, well, why should we have any laws at all? I yeah. mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not a big fan of the government overreaching into people's personal lives and their personal decisions. But as a society, we have to have some sort of structure of yeah. what's right and wrong. And I would think that most people with a rational brain can understand why a 15-year-old is not mentally equipped to handle the decision of getting married to someone in their 20s. Why, why, why would I tell because them if, already, if everybody's consenting, if everybody's okay with it, if the parents are okay with it, if nobody's being harmed, if it's going to be okay, if they're both abiding by, by the rules and they're not hurting each other, why not? Because like I said, the 15 year old just does not have the mental capacity to truly understand what they're doing. And so really they cannot consent to the marriage. And I believe that is kind of Charlie's point that he tries to make against Nico here, which I think is the right line of thinking. The only problem is Nico uses the classic debate tactic of using Charlie's own logic against him when Charlie would try yeah. to make an even uh -oh. possibly more mind boggling point about a child's ability to choose to transition. But we'll get back to that in a second. I did first want to talk about some of the other comments that Nico has made regarding the age of consent. Like, why does that define the age of consent? I had a debate about this and I said the age of consent is maturity. No, no, listen, Sneeko in a way had a point because there are a lot of people, but even when they're like 24 years old, they're still, it's like even a 24 year old today, sometimes, or not sometimes, a lot of the times, he's not mature enough, mentally I'm talking, uh, mentally, mentally speaking, he's, he may not be mature. But the point that Sneeko is making, like, why do we need an age of number? That's the part that I disagree with, because the, the thing is that if there is no age number given, then it's like, y you know what I mean, right? Like, there uh, there needs to be a law in place. We need to have a hard number. So, yeah, and so crap like that doesn't happen, because if you don't have a number given, then the EDP is going to run wild out there, okay? It's like all the PDF files going to run wild out there. I understand the point that there are people that at 17 years old may be a lot more mature than let's just say somebody who's in like who's 25 or 24. No, I, I get that point. I get that point. But you still need the law in place as well, man. Because otherwise, uh, for example, let's just say a grown ass man got caught with a kid. If we don't have a number in place, then he can be set free because he could be like, oh, well, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. There was no number given, so I didn't know. You you see what I mean, right? Like, so there needs to be a number given. I get the Sneeko point on this one, but it, it, I heard this conversation. This is why I'm saying uh, if you did not, I mean, let's uh, play it. Age of puberty, once the body is mature, because it's a debate about this. And I said the age of consent is maturity. Is age of puberty once the body is mature? Because, bro, I know some people. I went to puberty. Uh, no, this is this is not the point that I heard. My bad, but <laughs> this is not the one I heard. I, I heard the point when he said that you know a seventeen year old. He was uh, making points with a seventeen year old. That seventeen year old can be a lot more mature and all that, of which I agree with. Sometimes a seventeen year old is a lot more mature than a twenty four year old. But still, you need the number. You need the law there. You need the number. Otherwise, bro, it's gonna f up the entire situation, man. It's gonna f up the entire like. Uh, uh, the law right like if somebody got got caught as a pdf file uh, you know how how are you gonna justify him getting arrested how are you gonna arrest him if there's no law in place if that makes sense i'm not sure if i'm making sense or not Let me know the saying that the age of consent should be when somebody goes through puberty is just insane like i don't know if these type of comments come from a creepy place or it's just an effect of constantly having to play the devil's advocate over and over again while also trying to have the most shocking opinion possible. That's why the age of consent being strictly exactly on this second 18, this defines maturity and everyone has to pretend like, yes, that defines maturity. This is the correct- Yeah, yeah this is the point that I was trying to make as well. Yeah, I know, I, I hear his argument though. I, I understand the point, but but like you need the number as well, man. You need the age, number Not too. one second more, not one second less. And if anything contradicts it, you're disgusting. I mean, to me, it's just such a weird hill to choose to die on over and over again. I mean, by his logic, if a girl goes through puberty at the age of 12, which 
I believe many of them do. Well, she's then prepared to marry, you know, some 25-year-old yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. She's mentally equipped to do so. I no, mean, no, by no. his very same logic, he should have absolutely no problem with what Chris from Mr. Beast just did. As a matter of fact, in his book, Chris could have went out and married that kid that he was talking to through Discord, and he should really have no problem with it, right? As long as the kids yeah, are- Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, we just need, we need a hard number there. We need to draw a line there. We need to draw a line. This is why laws exist, though, and you need to follow the law, bro. You need to follow the law. Because uh, if there's no number, bro, like, Sick is gonna get away with it, though. Sick is already get away with it, man. EDP still did not get arrested. Like, oh, yeah, a lot of people were arguing, right? Like, everybody was beefing, beefing when the uh, Dr. Disrespect situation was coming out. A lot of people were like, hey, man, so he, he was not arrested. He should have been arrested. He was not arrested. I saw, like, all the comments, right? But the, the fact here is that EDP did not get arrested because why? Why? Because there wasn't enough evidence. Now, if you remove the number and... and EDP, the entire internet collectively agreed that he was a PDF file because he apparently, he went for it. He went for it. He went to meet a kid, but apparently it turned out that it was just like some YouTubers, uh, sting operation dudes out there just waiting for him to show up and caught him red handed. And they did caught him red handed. But see, for the authorities, it was not evidence enough. It was not enough evidence. So. Yeah, man, if you remove the number there, bro, like, it's gonna be even harder than... Are going through puberty. And the voice critic was like, Sneeko, you say that the age of consent is, uh, what do you think it is? I don't know, what do you think it is? Tell me. You think it's 18? It's only 18 in something like 10 states. Mass rest of it's 6, 17, 16. Around the world, it's 16. Damn. A lot of places, 14, 15. So what do you think it is? Is everybody in the world a Japan, they just change it from 13 to 16 where they before them? What's the consistency? To me, the blanket age of... Yeah, that's crazy. That, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I also researched and, uh, Japan had, like, what, 14? And they recently changed it. When I say recently, it was till 2015. So from all of human history, right? We have been alive for thousands and thousands of years. They had 14 and they recently changed it. And in still to this day, in a lot of states, it's 16 though. That's like a minimum. That's a minimum age, right? Uh, but but in this one, Sneeko is not wrong. It's just that, it, but 16 and it's still, it's too young, bro. It is too young. But law wise, it, it is 16 in a lot of US states. Consent all over the world should probably be 18. Like at least yeah, in this country, that's when you start getting more personal freedoms. That's the age where if you fuck up, the government no longer sees you as a child and they're gonna punish you as an adult. And at that point, you're really just free to make your own decisions and live with the repercussions of your actions. I don't know, to me, it just does not have to get a lot deeper than that. And here is where Charlie actually falls. Just let let the kids be kids, man. Like there, there needs to be, I would say like make it 18 across the board. But, but 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 even 18 nowadays bro like even that's not enough but we need a number we need a hard number there just make it 18 for everything man like at this point man yeah you can you cannot buy cigarettes you cannot drink uh for i believe drinking it's 21 it depends on where you at but in a lot of places it's 21 years you need to be 21 years old for drinking as well so if we have an age place for some like that why is there no age place for for changing your gender this and that apparently kids can have surgeries and change their gender uh, and all that it, it's just insane to me man there there needs to be a number man there needs to be a number right into Sneeko's trap do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy can they change their gender if they're a child I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay just look at the glee on Sneeko's face as he realizes that he fell for his trap card. Yeah, Home therapy, he... can they change their gender if they're a child I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting yeah, <laughs> And obviously, guys, what's the point that's about to be made? Sneeko is pretty much going to say, well, Charlie, so a kid cannot consent to marrying an adult, but they can't consent to making a life-altering decision. Okay, so as long as everyone- your parents are okay with it, and you are okay with it, I am. I think that's totally a family decision to make, yeah. Okay. So they're literally making the exact same stupid arguments about two different, very, I guess, controversial topics. So, a child can cut their p***s off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever, but they can't get married? Oh, well, that's a decision that now extends beyond the family because now you're bringing in a different party. So if you have someone that's your age coming in saying, I want to marry that child, I, yep, I don't think that can happen under any circumstance. Yeah, but neither thing should happen under yeah. any circumstance. Like, I, I disagree with both of these points, but like I said, if Sneeko just said that you got to follow the law of the land as well, man, he, he would have won this way bigger than he currently won this. Uh, right, N neither point is good. Neither point is good.
circumstance. I mean, listen, guys, I'm all for transitioning once you are an adult using your own money, okay? I don't think taxpayers should pay for that type of surgery. But if you want to go and do whatever you want to your own body, well, I'm really all for it. Because at the end of the day, I am for adults having their own personal freedoms. Yeah, but should yeah, a yeah. child be able to make that type of life-altering decision? Absolutely not. Should yeah, their parents no, no, be able no. to make that type of life-altering decision for their kid? To me, no. Like, if I take a baby to a tattoo parlor and say, hey, I consent, put a tattoo right across their forehead that says, idiot, there's a reason that nobody is going to allow you to do that. Okay, if I'm 16, and I personally want to marry this girl. She's beautiful. She's 20. Yeah, like, okay, good points, Jamari. Jamari, Jamari, good point, brother. Good point. Like, I gotta, I gotta do this, man. Like, I thought that you were like, ah, no, let, let the kids have tattoos. <laughs> let the kids change their genders and all that. If the parents consented, yeah, let the 12 year old just cut their PP and change their gender and switch sides like he was in a Call of Duty lobby. First, he was a Spetsnaz, then he's a Black Ops, right? Like, yeah, come on, man, what are we talking about, man? What are we talking about? Not W. Jamari, W. Jamari. And yeah, if you're uh, if you're an adult, bro, yeah, you wanna put your pee pee in poo poo, you wanna like uh, get rid of your dragon, yeah, go for it. But, but, but this is why I always say, guys, like, if you take one thing away from this video, man, control your dragons, brother. Control your dragons. Do not let the dragon, don't let your dragon control you because if you let your dragon control you, then you never know, man. You might end up like Chris Tyson getting rid of your dragon, though. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to be blinded, man. You don't want to be blinded by that. But if you're an older folk out there, like 20 plus years, something like that, and if you want to, like, uh, you know, you want to switch sides, yeah, I mean, it's your decision at the end of the day. Who am I, right? So, exactly, like, go, go, go do what you want to do. Go live your life, boo boo. Go live your life. 21 years old, her family wants to do it, my family wants to do it, you're saying, and I personally want to marry this girl. It, there's a reason that nobody is going to allow you to do that. Okay, if I'm 16, and I personally want to marry this girl, she's beautiful, she's 21 years old, her family wants to do it, my family wants to do it, you're saying, I can't do that. We're both consenting, I'm ready to go, I'm physically mature, but I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's, that woman's a But if then, the next day I leave it, I'm depressed, I want to cut my penis off. I can yeah. go right into the clinic, snip it off, and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's a society that makes sense to you? It is. I believe yeah, okay. everyone has complete. Yep. Uh, uh, Charlie, man, what the actual hell, bro? Like, how are you? I don't get it, though. I don't get it. Like, were you like using fidget spinner while listening to this debate? Damn, bro. Like, that is crazy. So what Sneeko is saying, a 16 year old man, if he wants, he's ready. Okay. He is consenting, he got his family consenting to marry a chick that's 21 years old, 5 years older than him. She's consenting, her parents are consenting, and they're marrying. That's good, but, but like, you're saying kids can cut their pee pee and switch sides. And he says yes. Daniel. I believe everyone has the right to do with their body what they want to do. Okay. So like, it's just so bad. I gotta Damn. say, this is the biggest L I've probably ever seen Charlie take, and he kind of just Damn. walked right into it. I mean, like I said, once someone starts using your own logic against you, the debate is pretty much over. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, you know what my point of view is? Then either of those things are okay. Yeah, uh, somebody, like, if any Sneeko viewer watching this, man, send this to Sneeko out there. Send this video to Sneeko. Like, he could have won this even bigger had it been... He said that, bro, had it been he brought the Sharia law of the 18 years old, and had it been he brought in the fact that you gotta follow the law of the land, he would have won even bigger. He would have won even bigger, man. The other thing I wait did want to say is, I do believe that it's actually a lot easier for someone to transition if they want to do that, if they wait until they're an adult. I believe if you start taking the hormone blockers too young, and your reproductive organs don't have the right time to develop, there will usually be a lot of complications with the surgery in the future. So in theory, it's actually in everyone's best interest, including people who know they want to transition at a very young age, to wait until they are at least 18. Either way, after this, Charlie has kind of been getting cooked online. Sneeko has pretty much been begging him to release this debate on his channel. So I yeah. am curious to see what he will do from here, because, like, as someone who... Uh, for, okay, I, I don't know about this one, but, like, from what I'm seeing, Sneeko and Moist Critical did agree that, you know, of course, Sneeko is on Rumble. So he posted the entire debate there and Moist Critical is supposed to upload it on his YouTube channel. So far he did not. So they were they were like, you know, we're gonna clap. We're gonna we're gonna clap this. We're, we're gonna clap. We're gonna clap. We're gonna clap. And uh, right now we're figuring out that the homie just peaced out, bro. Like this is this is it. 
insane situation, bro. Who puts his opinion out there online for a living. This was kind of a take that a lot of people seem to disagree with. So I had actually recorded that video yesterday. And as I was editing it right now, we actually did get some updates on the situation uh -oh, that include uh -oh. Charlie apparently walking his comments back and him also potentially leaving the internet altogether. And now I give a perspective on something that immediately gets misconstrued. And I do recognize a lot of it's my fault. I assumed that Sneeko was talking in hyperbole about a nine-year-old getting their cut off because I didn't have the assumption that anyone thought that's a, that that is how transitioning works. Under no circumstances, any legality behind a kid saying, I want to change genders, and then immediately going in and getting their cut off, that doesn't happen. I thought he was just talking in hyperbole. I mean, I think he was kind of just trying to discuss the idea of a child transitioning in general and if that's okay. I thought he was talking about the overall point of a child transitioning, which is years long process. And you can't even get that surgery legally until you are 18. Yeah, but you can definitely start transitioning and taking these various hormones. Uh, you, you can, and we covered this uh, previously as well, right? So the quad ring brought in a lot of the proof and uh, you can transition, you can cut a, a PP, get rid of it even before you're 18 as, yeah, so it, it's proven. It, it's, it's pathetic, it's sad that it's a thing that happens. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I just heard this, okay? So I don't know whether it's true or not, but they're saying in Europe, they're banning all of it so you can change uh switch sides but you gotta be 18 years old or or older that's good that's good okay uh there needs to be a law in place uh so yeah let the kids be kids man because uh, this is a life altering decision you are you are forever gonna live with this decision if you do it that young it's insanity what are we talking about right uh, and I also want to say this, like, attack ideas, not people. So, with Moist Critical, maybe he's seeing the light, maybe he's seeing... To, to be fair, though, to be honest, it really feels like that he's backtracking and he's saying that just for what, uh, for the sake of it, because he's seeing a lot of the backlash, and maybe this is the first time he saw this much backlash. So, uh, to me, it sounds like backtracking, but if he's genuinely meaning... Uh, genuinely, if he genuinely means that where he's learning and growing because we can for all learning and growing not like learning and growing not that kind of but like for real learning and growing if he really is gonna learn from this yeah he's good in my book man like if he because we all we all have opinions and sometimes we're not educated enough and sometimes you don't see the other side once you have the information uh right we, you can change your mind and maybe charlie's changing his mind right now and if he is that's good but Sounds like he's backtracking, but wait for it. Hormones before you turn 18 years old, especially in some states. And, and I guess I should have assumed that he was being literal, and that's on me. But yeah, there's no winning on anything. Sneeko gets away with saying 12 to 15 year olds can marry adults. No, he's not getting away with it. Like, let's be real. People have clowned on him. People are still clowning on him. It's just that this time it feels like that people are clowning on you. Not that it feels like people are clowning on you more because of the points you made. We, Sneeko has been, bro, like even you made videos on Sneeko, like criticizing him and putting him down like knocking him out and you know the community was on your side even i like like i was talking about right when the drama happened with clips thing right uh and sneeko was also defending the cuties movie and whatnot you made videos on it right like damn what are we talking about you made videos on him and we were on your side because guess what you had the right points you we were agreeing with you not because we wanted to agree with you but because what you were saying was true <laughs> you were making sense you your points were valid so people were agreeing with you this time what you said is wrong morally wrong and, and, and it don't make sense and what you're telling is absolutely evil so of course people are gonna disagree with you like damn like what are we talking about uh, nobody's defending sneeko here but it's just that your points are way worse than him that's what it is I don't think his chat looks anything like the YouTube chat here. He literally multiple times reaffirms that he believes 12 to 15 year olds can legally, morally, and should marry- Now, to be to be fair though, like, I, I have heard him defend like cuties and whatnot. I have not watched this full debate, so maybe he did say what Charlie's saying. But in the clip that I watched, uh, he, it, he did not say 12 years old marrying 25. I heard him say 16 year old marrying a 16 year old, 16 year old man marrying a 21 year old chick vice versa i heard him say that which is of course bad but it is not as bad as like a 12 year old girl marrying a 25 year old man if that makes sense the same is also true uh, i also did not hear sneeko say you gotta follow the law of the land as well some people are saying i i received some comments in the last video some people are saying he did say that 
but he might have said that during the debate which is like two hours and some minutes long right so he might have said that but in that clip alone he did not so the same way i did not hear him say 12 year old marrying 25 year old the same way i didn't hear him uh, also say you gotta follow the law of the land so yeah on that part yeah i'm just gonna be fully blunt with you i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna be straightforward with you i did not hear it but it doesn't mean that it was said it was not said or was said if that makes sense the adults and there is no problems for him but i said that i think it's okay for a child to transition to learn about it it's a process you don't just go in and immediately get your cut off that's not how it works i mean i wouldn't say that he's even necessarily walking anything back there i also think that the argument he makes about like oh everyone's acting like what sneeko said is okay it's just kind of minute like it's not really relevant because i have yeah. seen sneeko obviously catching a lot of backlash over this yeah. age of consent thing for quite even even jamari made videos on sneeko like crazy and even jamari had good points uh i'm, I'm not like uh, taking a jab at, at Jamari here when I say this, uh, it's a literal fact. Jamari had made a ton of video, a tons of videos on Sneeko criticizing Sneeko for right reasons, rightfully, right, rightfully. Everybody has clawed on him when he came out defending cuties and all that, right? Uh, and, and now uh, people are clawing on him because your points were bad quite some time and it's pretty obvious at this point that he's kind of cultivated the type of audience that's going to ride with whatever the f he thinks so i'm not surprised that they're not like giving him backlash over those comments that's what he has been preaching for quite a long time either way this news gets a little bit spicier after it was announced earlier today that charlie is apparently going to be stepping away from his podcast show update goodbye charlie hey everyone effective immediately charlie has made the decision to leave both the official podcast and red thread he wants to go on an indefinite hiatus to scale back his time spent on the internet we obviously wish him the best for everyone to respect his decision and for all to know that Damn. the show always be open for him to drop by and talk shop should he wish to return Holy. so yeah it seems like charlie might not be in the best place right now and i do completely understand if he wants to spend less time on the internet this job yeah. in general can be very taxing from a mental standpoint and i can recognize how hard it can be to step away from something that is so lucrative for you that's just become part of your life but it can also be very toxic when you start talking about more controversial topics and obviously you read in the comments every day there's people that disagree with you there's people that hate you for your opinions and maybe if he was already feeling kind of burnt out this might have just been like the straw that broke the camel's back and despite him dropping what i think is like pretty horrendous take obviously i wish the best for him and hopefully he's going to be doing all right but yeah a tech idea is not people that's that's where i stand with this one a absolutely i wish him the best though i hope he learns we all make mistakes uh, learn and grow from it right simple as that man and uh, if, if he comes back uh, from this uh, being like, okay, yeah, that's bad, like, kids should not be, he sh first of all, he should not be preaching that, like, kids oh, should cut their peepee and all that, nah, bro, like, that's morally corrupt, man, that's wrong on so many different levels, bro, like, damn, homie, like, what are we talking about, bro, so if he learns from that and he comes back as a better man and uh, he says that that's wrong, you know what, like, uh, I, I, I got... I'm like, hey, that's awesome, man. Like, you know what I mean, right? Like, I, yeah, that's amazing that you're gonna come back and learn from it. Uh, as a new man, you're gonna come back as a new man and yeah, like, yeah, whatever, man. But guys, check out this video on the screen. This recently happened with Mr. Beast. He is under a lot of drama as well. Check out this video on the screen and I will see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.